हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोसीड विथ एक्सरसाइज 8.2 पॉइंट टू विच डील्स विथ प्रो पोर्शन नाउ बिफोर आई बिगेन विथ दिस पोर्शन आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू वॉट इज प्रोपोर्शन ऑल अबाउट प्रोपोर्शन इज इक्वालिटी ऑफ टू रेशियोज इज कॉल्ड a proportion let me set you an example 12 is to 16 and 6 is to 8 now let us write this in a fraction form let us reduce as we have done so 2 6 are 12 2 8 are 16 so 6 by 8 is equal to 6 by 8 that means both these two uh, ratios are in proportion that means they are equal sum number 1 sub part 1 it says check whether the given the given two ratios are in proportion or not the digits are 4 is to 6 and 12 is to 18 so let us evaluate 4 by 6 and 12 by 18 to 6a to 9a to 3 2a 3 3a to 2a to 3a ultimately in both the cases we are getting the fraction 2 by 3 that means they are in proportion yes they are in proportion let's go to sub part number 2 it says 15 is to 45 and 40 is to 120 let us proceed 15 by 45 40 by 120 5 3 5 9 3 ones are 3 3 now let us cancel 0 4 ones are 4 3 are again here as you can see we are getting the same fraction in both the cases that means they are proportion now let us do sum number 3 it says 14 is to 4 and 18 is to 6 14 by 4 18 by 6 to to za to seven za to three za to nine za so here we are getting different fractions 7 by 2 and 9 by 3 that means they are not proportion now sub part 4 it says 12 is to 18 and 28 is to 12 so 12 by 18 28 by 12 2 6 Two nines are three twos are three threes are two fourteens are two sixes are two threes are two sevens are. Now we cannot reduce this any more, so we are getting two different fraction: two by three and seven by three. That means they these two ratios are not in proportion. Now we'll proceed with sum number two. sub part 1 it says write whether it they are true or false the sum is 16 is to 24 is equal to 20 is to 30 now we have to evaluate and see whether this ratio is equal to this or not whether they are true or false so dear the process is the same we have to change them 
into fraction, write them into fraction and then reduce to the lowest term. 2 8s are 16, 2 12, 2 4 2 6, 2 2 2 3 Cut the number of zeros, we are getting 2 by 3. So 2 by 3, 2 by 3, that means they are true, they are equal. This is the answer. Now we will go to sum number 2, sub part 2. Again we have to say whether they are equal or not, whether they are true or false. The digits are 16 is to 24 is equal to 30 is to 20. Now let us evaluate 16 by 24, 30 by 20. 2 8s are 16, 2 12s are 24, 2 4s are 8, 2 6s are 12, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. And here cut the number of zeros. So we are getting the fraction 2 by 3, 3 by 2. That means they are not equal. This is false. Now subpart 3. 21 is to 16. These four dots are known as is as. It's called is as which means equal to. The other word of equal to. 21 is to 6 is as 35 is to 10. So the process is the same again. You have to write them in fraction and then reduce. 3 twos are 3 sevens are. 5 twos are 5 sevens are. So in both the cases we are getting the same fraction. That means they are equal. It is true. Now sub part 4. 5.2 is to 3.9 is as 3 is to 4. The process is the same. 5.2 by 3.9 and 3 by 4. Now there is a decimal here. So we are going to shift it one place up and shift it one place down so we will get 52 by 39 now this fraction is a prime number which we cannot reduce any further so we are going to leave it as they are as it is so now 13 k tables made 13 threes are 39 13 fours are 52 so we are get, getting the fraction 4 by 3 and 3 by 4 and they have asked whether it is in proportion or not. So this statement is false. Now question number 3. Subpart 1. We have to find which of the following are in proportion. The digits are 12, 16, 6, 8. 12 by 16. 6 by 8. 2 6 are 2 8 are. So we are getting 6 by 8 and 6 by 8. Yes, they are in proportion. Subpart 2. Digits are 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 2 by 3, 4 by 5. We cannot reduce any further. So they are not in proportion. Not in proportion. Subpart 3. Digits are 18, 10, 9, 5. 18 by 10, 9 by 5. 2 5s are, 2 9s are. That means we are getting 9 by 5, 9 by 5. 
Yes, they are in proportion. Subpart 4. This is a 9, 18, 9, 10, 5. 18 by 9, 10 by 5. 9 1s are 9, 9 2s are 18. 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. So, yes, they are in proportion. Now, we will do sum number 4, part 1. We have to say which of the following statements are true. The statement is 39, sorry, 39 kg is to 36 kg is equal to 26 men is to 24 men. So again the process is the same. Three ones are three twos are three ones are three threes are two twelve two thirteen. We cannot reduce this any further. So the statement the statement is true as we are getting. 13 by 12 in both the cases. Sub part 2. 45 kilometer is to 60 kilometer equal to 12 hours is to 15 hours. 45 by 60, 12 by 15. 5 9s are 45, 5 12s are 60. 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12. 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15. So we are getting two different fractions in both the cases. That means this is false. The statement is false. They are not proportion. Subpart 3. 40 people is to 200 people is equal to rupees 1000 is to Rupees 5000. So 40 by 200 and 1000 by 5000. Cut the equal number of zeros. 4 ones are 4 fives are. Here again equal number of zeros 1 by 5. So in both the cases we are getting the fraction. 1 by 5, that means the statement is true. Now, subpart 4, 7.5 liters is to 15 liters is equal to 15 children is to 30 children. Now, 7.5 by 15, 15 by 30. Now, one thing I would like to explain is again we have a decimal here. So, uh, we are going to shift it to one place and in that way, we are going to add a zero at the denominator. So, the digits are now 75 by 150 and this is 15 by 30. So, 75 1s are 75 and 75, 2s are 150. 5, 3s are 15, 5, 6s are 30. 3, 1s are 3, 2s are. So we are getting the same fraction in both the cases. That means yes, 
they are proportion and it is true now sum number 5 sub part 1 it says that we have to determine the following ratio whether they form a proportion or not and if they form a proportion so we have to mention the middle terms as well as the extreme terms now the sum is 25 centimeter is to 1 meter and rupees 40 is to rupees 160 so now let us let me remind you that this is centimeter and this is meter that means which we have to convert meter into centimeter so 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so now the fraction becomes 25 by 100 and here 40 by 160 25 ones are 25, 25 fours are 100. Let me cancel 0. 4 ones are 4 fours are 16. That means yes, they are in proportion. Now let me explain you what are the extremes and the middle terms. Now look carefully, dear. These are the ratios first, second, third, and fourth. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. So first and the fourth term together are called extreme terms. Second and third term together is known as middle or mean terms. So now we have to mention the extreme and the middle term. So here 25 centimeter and rupees 160 are extreme terms 1 meter and rupees 40 are middle terms this is the answer now sum number 2 39 liters is to 65 liters and six bottles is to ten bottles so unit are the same in all the cases so no need of conversion so the fraction is 39 by 65 and 6 by 10 13 3s are 39, 13 5s are 65 and here 2 3s are 6, 2 5s are 10. So we are getting the proportional number of these ratios. So here the extreme terms are 39 liters, 10 bottles are extreme terms whereas 65 liters 6 bottles are middle terms sub part 3 2 kgs is to 80 kg and 30 seconds is to 5 minutes here all the units are the same except second and minute that means we have to convert minute to seconds so here we all know 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds therefore 5 minutes is equal to 300 seconds now we'll proceed with the normal procedure 2 by 80 
thirty by three hundred. Two ones are two four zero. Cut the number of zeros. Three ones are three ten. So the fraction is one by forty and one by ten. That means it is not proportional. So we are not supposed to write the extreme and the middle term. Now the last sum of this exercise is two hundred gram is to two point five kg and rupees four is to rupees fifty. Again the unit kg we have to convert it to gram. So one kg is equal to thousand gram. Therefore, two point five kg is equal to two thousand five hundred grams. Now we we'll proceed further. So two hundred by two thousand five hundred and four by fifty zero zero. So this cannot be reduced any further to two za two twenty five. Yes, they are in proportion. So now two hundred grams and rupees fifty are the extreme terms and 2.5 kg and rupees 4 are the middle terms.